Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Wednesday, the 12th day of April. Today is National Only Child Day. Today, uh, National 412s Day, since it's 412. Uh, National 412s Day, National Colorado Day, National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. You know, there are times, and I'm just a fan of that, grilled mm-hmm. cheese. Like, yeah, I haven't had one of those in a long time, by the way. But, I love them. Yeah, that is really good. Uh, National Licorice Day today and National Big Wind Day today. All of those things happening. And I'm so excited to chat with our guest. Uh, when they first sent this information over, I had not heard anything of this. And now since then, we've actually watched the first four episodes. The first four episodes came out last Friday. It's a show called Jury Duty. This was really it, good. It is such a clever idea for a show. Well, we're going to be visiting with the gentleman who plays the judge on the program. And it's on uh, Freebie on Amazon. And it's a really funny reality show. I'll chat with him more about the details of it coming up. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Which cities serve up the best slice of pizza? Well, Lawn Starter uh, did a ranking of the top cities in the United States Lawn for the best. Lawn Starter, ci- yeah, it's a company. They send, they do surveys all the time. What are they? What is they it? have Starting nothing a lawn to do with to it. Do, okay, nothing. But they just do this because then people click on their survey and then they see their company and they send them to me and uh, they send me like ten or eleven of these a month and I hardly ever read them. But this one's kind of interesting because which cities have the best pizza? So the best pizza, uh, where would you say instantly when you I think pizza? I would say New York. Yep, they are number one. Number two, would you think who? Chicago. No, they're number three. Number two is San Francisco. Oh. What? Number four is Miami. Number five is Las Vegas. LA is number six. Fort Lauderdale, seven. Eight is Washington, D.C. Nine, Portland, Oregon. Number 10, Phoenix, Arizona. Now, here's the interesting thing. Who has the worst pizza? Number. I'll just do the, the worst three. Aurora, Illinois. Not too far from Chicago has the third worst. Mobile, Alabama, second worst. And the worst is Hayward, California. So I don't know what's wrong with their pizza, but I've got the entire list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know experts now believe that pooches don't really care about what treat they're given as long as it's a treat? That is not true at all. They say they barely taste it before they wolf it down. And for that reason, they say we're probably giving them the wrong treats. A lot of times people give uh, dogs treats that are fatty and and not so great, but they're saying vegetable snacks will be just as good because they won't even notice the difference. Okay. That is Our not dog true. Is pretty finicky. She, yeah, she's, yeah, she's not. There's no way we could trick her into eating something. She will good. not eat a milk bone. I've no, tried, but I, I buy them. She for, likes she carrots won't eat though, them. doesn't she? She does like carrots. Yeah, I thought that was weird. I'm like, can dogs eat carrots? And Heidi's well, like, does. I hope so. <laughs> she's <laughs> mowing through half a bag of baby carrots. Uh, so Georgia Woods Lee, a canine nutrition expert at University of Liverpool, is the one who put out this thing. They're saying, hey, instead of giving your dog you know, meat and cheese, maybe give them something that's a, a veggie instead. And dogs like things that have you know, crunch to it, apparently. So... Yeah, that would be why she likes it. But she does not like milk bones. She won't Mm. eat them. Well, there you go. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Jason Alexander is done with Twitter. Well, almost. The Seinfeld star revealed he's going to quit the social media platform as soon as the blue check mark that verifies his identity is removed. 
Okay. So is anybody <laughs> chopping at the bit to see what Jason Alexander thinks? I don't know. They're starting to charge you eleven dollars a month if you want to keep that. And I'm sorry, and but I don't know why. For I'm, any subscription <clears throat> service, newspapers, whatever, there's a monthly fee. Yeah, but that's different. Why is it different? I just think it's different. I don't I don't understand the whole thing. But either way, he said, uh, so if I can lose that check mark, then I'll leave this platform. Melissa Joan Hart lent a helping hand to a group of small children and teachers who were fleeing Nashville, uh, the Sabrina the Witch star shared on Instagram video where she and her husband were on her way to a conference and they ended up helping some folks out with, during that tragedy, which, again, what an amazing thing for them to be in the right place at the right time and to be able to help. I've got a link to that as well. It's all in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. UPS, you know the big uh, brown trucks? I sure do. United Parcel Service. You know it was started by two teenagers with one bicycle and $100 borrowed from a friend? Oh, that's pretty cool. I had no idea. I didn't know that. I've heard the story of Federal Express, and it was a college paper where uh, Mr. Smith got a C on the paper and then turned it into a global empire. That's kind of funny. Uh, but I didn't know UPS started by two teenagers and a bicycle. I didn't know that either. That's pretty great. Borrowed from a friend. All right. This story comes from Oklahoma where red rocker Sammy Hagar was performing at a place called the Lucky Star Casino. And Jerry Moore, age 56, and Marsha Green, age 60, were attending the show and apparently had a good time, a very good time. What better way to keep the party going than to head over to the truck stop and take naked photos out in the parking lot? Oh, well, that's just I don't know why common sense. Yeah. Everybody uh, does the that The police were called. Concert. When the police got there, they were still uh, nude, and now they were out back taking photos in the back of a truck doing all kinds of things, so they got themselves in a bit of trouble. And another story here from Ohio where Elizabeth Wilson was pulled over for a routine traffic stop. Police noticed she was rather nervous, and when they asked her to get out of the car, she locked the doors, wouldn't get out of the car. She said she was carrying nothing illegal. After negotiating, she finally did get out of the car. And she shouted, fine, you want to see what I have? She raised her shirt and her bra and, like, flashed the police. Okay. But when she flashed the police, they also saw the crack pipe that she had stashed in there. Okay. So she was thinking that she was going to, you know, get out of trouble by flashing the police. But she forgot that when she was she, she was flashing, she was also showing her stash. of. Sure. They found uh, cocaine and a crack pipe. And got in trouble for uh, obstructing official business and possession of drug paraphernalia. Well, there you go. Other than that, though, she was doing nothing wrong. (laughs) All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Wednesday. Our guest today, Alan Barinholtz, is an actor in a new program that just came out on Friday on Freebie from Amazon. It's called Jury Duty. And your honor, you're the judge, right? That's correct. I'm, I'm your honor, so to speak. And you do a really good job of being a judge. Do you have any experience doing that or is this all acting? Well, I've been a lawyer for over 42 years. I've been an arbitrator for over 30 years. So I guess kind of, yeah, I, this is really my first big foray into acting, which is a whole other story for another time. Well, but yeah. So that's uh, my experience. I think this is such a fun idea. I'm going to kind of let you explain it, but jury duty is something like I've never seen before. It's on freebie and explain to me, what is the idea of jury duty? A couple of years ago, the, the creators of the show put out some kind of blast. I don't know if it was on Craigslist or some other uh, thing, but they, they said, if you've never served on a jury before, uh, there is a documentary being made. Uh, if you'd like to apply 
to be a juror, you don't have to be a California resident. If you are chosen, uh, we will fly you to Los Angeles. We will pay you a daily stipend, put you up, and um, you will partake as a juror in a documentary where the, the judge has allowed cameras in the courtroom. 2,500 people applied. Wow. And the gentleman who was chosen but was the only non-actor uh, there and had no idea that everybody <laughs> was a, an actor or a technician. He did know who one actor was because the actor is James Marsden, who's a real famous actor, and he plays himself as somebody who is desperately trying to get out of jury duty. And in real life, he's probably a really nice guy, but in this, he's like really amping up the whole I'm a celebrity thing, and it's very, very funny. Phenomenal comedic timing on, on this guy's part. And, and speaking of comedic timing, even though this is your first foray into acting, you've got a couple of sons that are uh, that are actors and pretty well known for doing this, aren't they? Uh, kind of, yeah. My older son, Ike, uh, the, his latest is uh, History of the World Part Two. He's uh, one of the executive producers, one of the main writers, one of the main actors. My younger son, John, is one of the main cast members of American Auto, which is on NBC. So, uh, uh, you know, I'll give my wife most of the credit for the talent uh, running down to the kids, but I'll take a little credit. Well, this is such a fun idea. When this was sent over to me and they're like, hey, this program is coming out in April. Uh, I got it last month. They're like, if you're interested in chatting with somebody. And I watched the trailer and I laughed so hard. If anybody's ever been involved in a real jury <laughs> process, it is so funny because this is what happens. This is, you know, there's only one guy in this process that doesn't know that everybody else is an actor. And it's so funny to see how he's responding to some of the things people are saying that are so outlandish. But if you've ever watched jury selection, that stuff really happens. Yeah, and I think that's kind of why it, it, we keep it real. There's some hilarity, but during the course of the trial, there's a lot of boredom. So we really do keep it real. The show is not boring. You're not no. going to see the boring part. No. You're going to see the funny part. It, you get to play it so straight as the judge, and I love when uh, when the uh, actor, who's n the known actor, is talking about how famous he is, and you go, I am not familiar with you. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> yeah. But we, had, we had a blast doing that, and it's uh, pretty much like 95% uh, improv. And, which was great. It really allowed us to live, so to speak. And this program actually launched on Freebie on the 7th. So last Friday, are all the episodes out right now or just a few? Uh, four episodes. Then Friday the 14th, it drops two episodes. And then Friday the 21st, it drops the last two episodes. Very nice. Again, the program is called Jury Duty. The first few episodes are out right now on Freebie, and the next few episodes, some this Friday, some next Friday. And for those of you who are not familiar with Freebie, it's part of Amazon Prime, but it's a free version. If you'd like all the information on that, I'll throw a link to make it really, really easy. But Alan, Jury Duty is very, very funny, and I am so excited that you guys are doing this. Thank you for doing it, and thank you for taking the time to visit. Well, thank you, John. You guys have a great uh, day, and, and uh, stay tuned. This will be a lot of fun. I agree. Again, the program the program is called Jury Duty, and the first four episodes are out right now on Freebie, and there's four more episodes coming to this Friday to next Friday. You can get all of the details and see the trailer that I saw that makes me want to see the whole doggone thing in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Prior to the 17th century, most carrots were purple. Really? Yeah. Now they're orange. Huh. So I wonder why they were purple before. I have no idea. Yeah. And we were just talking about our dog likes carrots. I wonder mm -hmm. if she would like carrots if they were purple. They you say think? dogs are colorblind. Oh, don't yeah. They? yeah. She probably wouldn't mind. All right. One more fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The letter Z is the least frequently used letter in the English language. It is, however, the most uh, a little more common in American English than it is in British English due to spelling differences. Have you ever noticed that? No. The, the letter Z is spelled differently? 
not the letter Z spelled differently, but some words are spelled differently. They use a Z in America and they use S's oh. in oh, uh, yeah. England. Oh, so. yeah. I, I thought you meant the no. Z was spelled. I was like, how do you spell Z? <laughs> you spell Z with just a Z. <laughs> And apparently they spell it. How do they spell it in England? I don't know. Without using the letter Z. (laughs) I'm not really sure. All right. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. If you're average, you'll have 24.5 of these in your lifetime. What is it? Hmm. I don't think that we're probably average. I have no idea. Pets. 24.5 pets. pets? Yeah, that seems like a lot of pets. That seems like a whole lot of pets. So there you go. That is your Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. According to the U.S. Transportation Security Administration, peanut butter is now a liquid. Okay. What? And that means you might want to rethink bringing a jar of Skippy on your next vacation. First of all, who does that? The TSA took to Twitter last week to make the announcement of PB's new classification, explaining that you can only bring it in your carry-on if it's 3.4 ounces or less. Okay. Demonstrating that the government agency is not totally without humor. The TSA posted, you may not be nuts about it, but TSA considers your PB a liquid. Okay. <laughs> How is well, it I get figured- that. I mean, because you don't know what's buried in there. Yeah. It- how is it they figure something? Why would that's, somebody take a whole jar of peanut know. butter on an airplane anyway? But how is it they figure something that sticks to the roof of your mouth is a liquid? Well, accompanied by the message was a picture of a jar of peanut butter with the words "peanut butter." A liquid has no definite shape and takes the shape dictated by the container. End quote. So that is what peanut butter does. Oh. So that is why it is a liquid. That makes sense. <sighs> I suppose. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. This was sent to me, and I'm assuming it's because I mispronounce things from time to time, but (laughs) these are the most mispronounced places in the world. So I've got the top 20 in the show notes. I'm just going to do the top 10. Okay. So Dubai, the correct pronunciation is Dubai, not Dubai. Oh. Yeah, Dubai. Antigua, Antigua, and Barbados. I've always cri- said Antigua. It's it is Antigua, and oh, Antigua. Tiga. So I, I think I did say it right. Uh, there's a place in Thailand. I'm not going to say how people usually say it because we're on the radio, <laughs> but it's P H U K E T, and it's Phuket is how you really say it. Phuket. Okay. So the P H in this sense is sure. just Phuket. Uh, Ibiza, Spain. It's Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. not Ibiza. Um, Seychelles, East Africa, is Seychelles, Seychelles. Versailles, France, is uh, Versailles, Versailles. Uh, Louvre Museum in Paris is Louvre, Louvre. Yosemite National Park, Yosemite, Yosemite. Uh, The Thames River in England is Thames, T-E-M-Z, Thames. Cannes in France is the most mispronounced. It's actually... Canna. Canna. Huh. Not, you don't put the S on there. Canna. All right. You can see the rest of them in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.
InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of of uh, insurancechicken.com. I almost said uh, who it was from. Uh, not courtesy of Homer Simpson, but the quote is from Homer Simpson. <laughs> Dope! Uh, quote from Homer Simpson is, trying is the first step toward failure. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I almost want that on a t-shirt now. <laughs> quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. By the way, if you uh, have a quote that you'd like to submit Maybe for the future you can do that on the bottom of our page, John and Heidi Show.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. I love this story. Take a listen to this. Homeless woman replaces boy's stolen bicycle and inspires others to give. Oh, wow. How cool is this? Homeless woman in Maine purchased a brand new bicycle for a child after learning that his bicycle had been stolen. The Rockland Police Department is calling her a superhero. According to the police department, a three-year-old boy left his Spider-Man bicycle outside of a store when he and his mother went shopping. When they came out, the bicycle was gone. A stranger who asked to remain anonymous saw a social media post and she felt like she had to do something to help. So the police department said last night a superhero stopped by the Rockland Police Department and donated a brand new Spider-Man bicycle, a matching helmet, and a bicycle lock for our young victim. The hero wanted nothing in return, but in speaking to one of our officers, we learned a little bit about her recent struggles. Uh, The woman, who lives all the way out in Oxford County, saw the post and felt like she had to do something. Unfortunately, she was recently forced to choose between making her rent or vehicle payment. Not wanting to default on her car, she's now living in her car. Oh, my gosh. But her struggles did not deter the woman from being selfless and helping with this new bicycle and helmet. And how cool is all of that? That's amazing. And she was encouraging other people to help out as well. So others have reached out saying, hey, how, how can we help her? How can we yeah. help this lady? So uh, I think it's just fantastic that, again, this lady, even though she has her own struggles, and think about that. We could probably all come up with something we're going through. Maybe not losing your place to live, but we've all gone through some struggle, some some things here and there. And even though you're struggling, it's still nice to think of others. And I love the fact that she did that. And you know what else? I also love the fact that she said, ah, I don't need to be, I just right. remain anonymous. Keep it I'm good anonymous. with that. Those are the ones I like the most. Mine too. I think it's just the greatest. So love that story. And if that's you, I mean, I love your heart. I think that's great. And I love the fact that there are good people out there doing good things. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.